this is the most disappointing conference I've ever done in my whole entire life. So I put in my, my savings 5,000 and I started trading every night. Cow keep losing money, some lose money, and daytime I, I can only trade in the night. US. Financial trading is my only way out. So I personally met Karen about almost four years ago. She was very, very young at that point in time, and she is still very young, and she is already a very successful trader. She already enjoyed her financial freedom, meaning that she doesn't have to work for any companies. She does things that she likes, she do a lot of blogs, a lot of vlogs, and a lot of international conventions, conferences, invite Karen as a keynote speaker. And today we actually have the honor to have Karen to share the stage with everybody. I took that tôi cũng chưa bao giờ nghĩ tới cái chuyện là mình sẽ và đây là công thức rất là đặc biệt để giúp cho các bạn có thể okay guys just done my talk look at the crowd let me just show you the crowd this is lunch break this after my talk and there's no more food so it's all good it's all... all right let's do some talking right now I left early. Right after my talk, I had my lunch with business partners and then we had some discussions on where are we going to in the next few trips. Had a good lunch and also spilled a whole entire drink. You guys see my pants? You have the most clumsy speaker from Singapore and that is me. But on a serious note, you know, from the day when I first start out speaking to secondary school kids all the way until now, this is the most disappointing conference I've ever done in my whole entire life. I've never seen anything like this. It was supposed to be 1 hour and 30 minutes but I cut it short because I've never done a talk in my life where I wanted to stop halfway so badly. Where I wanted it to end so badly. Now at first, when 15 people turn up, I was like, you know what? I don't care if there are 40 empty seats, I'm gonna do my best. I did not prepare a whole entire week for this talk, rehearsed so many times, traveled two and a half hours to come here and give it my 50%. I'm gonna give it my 100%. There were people, while I'm talking, they were taking selfies with their friends. They had calls to take, they took it right at the spot. This is the first time, I've never seen anything like this. Because normally if people want to take calls, they will excuse themselves, they will go out of the room. Now I've spoken to many different types of audiences, right? From Thailand, from Singapore, from Malaysia, I've come across different types of responses. People going out while I'm talking to go to the toilet, those are okay, I'm used to that. This one is just like, if they're not talking to their friends, they'll be using their phone. If they're not using a phone, they'll be going behind taking food. If they're not going behind taking food, now they had to go to the toilet. Once they come back from the toilet, they'll look at the ceiling, look at the outside, except for listening to me. There was one, one guy. You can do whatever you want with your life, okay? Adopt any gender identity you want, okay? I don't care about those. But there was just one guy, while I'm talking, looking at his mirror or his phone, and then he was just like, 
He was just applying lipstick. You know when I say that's always a first time for everything? Now this is a first time. Now because I'm somebody who take full responsibility of my own self, I tend to blame myself sometimes. Or maybe I'm just a really bad speaker, that's why nobody bothered to listen to me in this Vietnam talk. But I'm like, if I'm really that bad, I would have known it at the start of this Asian tour, which is March earlier this year. But you know what? With every setback, with every bad thing that happened, there's always something to learn from it. Now, what's the lesson in this? Can't think of any. Let's go for a hotel tour. This is a mini gym. So when you get frustrated, no? There's always something. Good equipment. I'm not sure if you use these. And then let's show you the whole real quick. Nicely. Hope I don't fall inside because you know who is the clumsiest speaker in Singapore? It is like a mini infinity pool. Quite nice, right? Just now, our speaking venue was somewhere there. You see the traffic. Okay, now that we came out here and take some fresh air, I just want to point out one thing, okay? This is what I covered in the talk just now too. When you're on your journey towards success, along the way, you will do everything you can. I'm sorry, the traffic is just... Along the way, you do everything you can. You put in all the work, the time, the effort. Things will still not work out. And this is just part of life. You do your freaking best. And still, people don't turn up. People disrespect you. People disappoint you. People take you for granted. Your factory burns down. Your daughter set your kitchen on fire. And your cat ate your homework. You can do your best. Basically, shit just happens. It is just life. What can you do about it? Yes, cry all you want. Take a break if you want to. But don't quit. Don't quit. Because this is what stops most people. They're gonna give up because it gets too hard, gets too discouraging. When you have the school this shit moment, this is when you should stop, take a break. Once you're done taking a break, come back stronger. This is the lobby. Show you around real quick. Lobby, the reception area, restaurants. When life keeps knocking you down, it's just normal. Don't ever feel that, oh, you're not worthy of success, you're not smart enough. That's why you keep failing again and again. That's why you keep feeling discouraged again and again. When you're discouraged a lot, when you're failing a lot, when you feel like shit a lot of times, it probably just means that you are taking enough action. Time for McDonald's. The bigger you aim, the more you fall down, the more you fail. You know, it's the price you need to pay if you want to achieve massive things in life. If I did not aim big, I wouldn't have felt so much in my 20s. I wouldn't have achieved financial freedom in my 20s, being able to do all this free shit for free, if that makes any sense. All I know is that I've done my best. With the best of my ability to overcome the challenges, to give this talk even though I did not feel like it, to end this talk even though I feel like stopping halfway. The most important thing is looking back and then realize that you've done your best. Even though you might fail big time just like me, at least you've tried everything. You've used up every single hour that you can to practice, to prepare. That's what matters most. Okay? I'll talk to you in the next vlog. Bye.